This video sponsored by Soundscape.io. Soundscape provides unlimited copyright cleared music license for videos, films, YouTube, podcasts, and more. The most powerful way to search is to select a genre, mood, and more. If you aren't sure which genre you want, there's an amazing business genre that curates music that works great in commercial videos. Also, you can search by curated playlists, and there's a great background music for YouTube section that focuses on playlists that work nicely in videos with dialogue. Also, you can download all of the music with a single subscription. And you can check it out from my description link to get 15% discount. So in this tutorial we will learn how to create this. Reverb Echo Effect. And it's not added in the original music. But I will create this effect inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started without wasting more time. In the top tracks, we've our footages. And the bottom track is the music. I'm going to add the reverb echo effect to the end of my clip. And this is my original music in the end part. Let's zoom in the timeline, so we can see the audio waveform properly. As we can see there's a riser sound at the end. So I'm going to cut this riser. Click C to select the razor tool, and cut this riser sound. Then click V to select the move tool, and delete the last part of the music. Now select this last part, and move it to the bottom track. Then go to the window, and open audio track mixer. Now as we can see this last part in the audio track too. So in the audio track mixer tab, we need to add the reverb effect in the audio track too. First click on this little drop down icon. Then go to the audio track 2, first slot. And click on this little arrow down key. Now go to reverb. And select studio reverb. Then double click on the studio reverb. So it will open up this new window. And here increase the decay 10,000 ms. In the output level, increase the wet 100%. Now we can close this window. And let's see the preview. But still nothing has changed. To hear this reverb effect, we need to extend the video track. And we can use a adjustment layer to extend the video track duration. So going back to the project panel. And click con. Then select adjustment layer. And click OK. Then just drag and drop it to the video track. Now let's see the preview. And that's it. This is our reverb echo effect. Now it's too long, but I need one or two seconds. So cut the adjustment layer, then delete the last part. And let's see the preview. Now I am okay with the duration, but it's not perfect. I need it more smooth and fade out the effect. So right click on the audio track too. And select customize. As you can see here a show keyframes icon. Now drag and drop it to the audio track and click OK. Then click on this Show Keyframes icon, Track Keyframes, and select Volume. Now we can see the volume line, even there's no clip on the timeline. Now hold on the Control key, and make a keyframe beginning of this reverb effect. And make another keyframe to end of this effect. Then release the Control key. Select this last keyframe, and drag it down. Now let's see the final preview. And that's all I want. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.